All right, new Harris poll is out. And uh, let's see. It is 37 Democrat, 35 Republican, fair poll. The election for president were held today. Who would you vote for, Trump or Biden? Trump 46, Biden 41. That comes on the heels of the ABC poll. It's got Trump up by 10. This one has him up by five. Do you approve or disapprove of the job Biden is doing? Approve 40, disapprove 56. You think President Biden should run for second term, run 31, not run 69%. Wow, what a number that is. How about Trump? You think he should run again? 44 run, 56 no, much better and stronger number than Biden. And that is an indicator right there from the Harris poll. Again, uh, the ABC News Washington Post poll had Trump way out in front. Um, Interesting. So Donald Trump is going to uh, Michigan tomorrow. Same environment, United Auto Workers, going to give a uh, speech to them. News Nation is going to carry that speech. About 8.15, uh, Trump is usually around on time. Biden was more than an hour late today. Biden's always late. Trump is a little, sometimes he's late, but usually around there. I will be doing analysis on that for News Nation tomorrow night, Wednesday night. Busy night. So you got Trump in Michigan, the speech, you got the debate. Uh, you got uh, O'Reilly Carlson, uh, whoa, but we'll get it done. We'll get it done. So there's a new book out I want to uh, tell you about. Um, it is called Four Presidents, Kennedy, Nixon, Biden, Trump. In addition to my book, this is a good read. Uh, Leaders Who Change History in Our Changing Times. It's written by our pal Doug Schoen, who's a Democrat political Strategist, she joins us now from Miami. So, uh, what are you doing in Miami? It's too hot down there still, right? What are you hey, doing, there? Bill? I'd rather be in Miami where it's too hot than be in New York where it is a myriad of social disorganization. There's no doubt about it. I wrote a message of the day: social disorder is what I'm calling it. Yes, it's, da- it's dangerous and getting worse. It's going to sink, Biden. Okay, so. You're attached to the Harris poll, right? I mean, you, you do work with these people, right? Well, with my former partner, Mark Penn, is the owner of the Harris poll. And, but I think more, most important, uh, the Harris poll is accurate, in my judgment, picking up the fact that Trump is now in the lead, probably not 10 points ahead, but it's not a tie anymore. And the trends are moving, as you point out, Bill, decisively to Donald Trump. All right. Now, Biden is sinking. What is the main reason he is sinking? Two or three things. The economy, first, inflation. Second, his age and perceived infirmity. And third, the Hunter Biden case, which is dragging on and is seemingly bringing him into uh, the dialogue and the investigation to a greater degree than anyone, I think, anticipated a few months ago. All right. But how does that hold together when he's always been old? We've had inflation for more than two and a half years. And Hunter Biden's story broke, what, a year and a half ago? So all of this stuff is pretty old. But now it looks like the whole Biden presidency is going down a drain. So is it did people just suddenly wise up? I think it is the persistence of inflation, the fact that it is increasing slightly. It has a cumulative effect. Gas prices are up. I think he is looking more and more infirm each day. Uh, And there is more and more control over what Joe Biden is saying and doing. And when you get on the phone 20 times as a sitting vice president with um, your son's clients just to to talk about the weather, uh, you know, Bill, It doesn't add up to a good story. Okay. Now, Trump is really not done much differently. He does the same thing all the time. The election of 20 was a fraud. uh, And then he's going to be the Avenger. If you reelect me, he's going to make America great again. He's going to get rid of all this Biden stuff. Nothing really. Have you seen anything new from Trump in the last six months? The only thing I've seen is he seems to have calmed his act down a bit. 
He is less bombastic. And he's developed a narrative that the indictments he's facing are an indictment of his constituency, which, whether it's substantively true or not, is politically, I think, an effective retort. 